I wanted to quickly go over the points that we covered yesterday. So you have a little summary of the how to's of meditation, and then I'll guide you in the Soham mantra meditation. So you have it, so you can use it and access it to create a regular habit. Uh, so the only th two things that you need to meditate is to sit up and to close your eyes as you begin to make this inward journey. Uh, of course, that's the easy part. And then creating the habit or finding the time is probably the most important part. And we talked about bumpering your day with a meditation early in the morning before you start your day, hopefully before you look at your phone. And then sometime in the early evening before dinner, perhaps uh, before physical exercise. So even if you need to do that two minutes each time, really to set that habit, that's amazing. If you have two to five minutes in the morning, I think that's ideal, extending that out and then the other two minutes in the afternoon. So ideally we're moving to twice daily, 30 minutes a day. And even if you're doing twice a day, 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the afternoon, as we talked about for a full 20 minutes a day, that's amazing and it won't give you the full scientific benefits that we read about in all the studies and i promise you it will absolutely change your life that second meditation is really important because it is cumulative to the first one it's not the same like a second meditation i say a lot of times cumulative and exponential we know we do a lot of healthy things in our lives and then when we add one more habit to that so kind of those keystone habits it changes everything else. Just like meditation will improve your sleep. It will help you um, feel better, clarity of mind, your diet may naturally change without you having to do anything at all. So then we dispelled the myth that you have to uh, force out, get rid of, or completely clear your mind during meditation. You don't. All we're doing is expanding that natural tiny little space between each thought. So as you become aware of the natural impulse of the thoughts as the mind, naturally, that's what it's designed to do is to um, think new solutions, create more happiness for you. And that's what it's doing, kind of that bouncing and searching. And rather than following that trail of thought, if we can come back to the anchor or the source of our meditation, which we practice the universal mantra, so hum then you're getting all the benefits and you're doing everything correctly. So the only thing you want to really try to avoid and that takes a little bit of practice is the noticing and coming back. So really it's that present moment awareness. And that is the entire reason that we're meditating is to bring that present moment awareness into our daily lives. So again, it's not about sitting here and meditation. It's not about how many thoughts you have, how many little thoughts you have, or how many few thoughts you have. It's about the moment of awareness and coming back to the source of the meditation. And that's what's expanding the space. And so you'll begin to feel that restfulness, fewer thoughts, and you'll begin to feel the expansion of that space. Uh, and we've talked about that kind of nothingness that all of a sudden you realize there was no thoughts. There was no mantra. You know, you weren't asleep, but you're in that space. And that's where all of the healing, the regeneration happens. All the thoughts are just a sign that stress is being released. We talked about that. So that's the basics that we covered. And I would love to guide you in a seven minute meditation. So if you can get in a really comfortable position and then whenever you found that upright seated position, softly closing your eyes beginning to make this inward journey, beginning to Turn all of the senses within. Bring your awareness to the breath. The natural inhale and exhale of the breath. Simply noticing the qualities without trying to force it without any expectation or evaluation, simply noticing, perhaps with curiosity and awareness. And you may shift your awareness to your heart center, the center of your chest, 
and notice the breath from this place. And from here, I'd like you to silently begin thinking the mantra. So hum. The first syllable is so, S-O. The second hum, H-U-M. So hum, the universal mantra, which loosely means I am. So hum. And as you think the mantra silently inside your mind, allow it to have any freedom to change without worrying about the pitch or pace or volume, without worrying about the consistency of repetition, simply noticing. However, the repetition of the mantra feels comfortable for you. And if you'd like to experiment with the breath, you can inhale on the so and easily exhale on the hum. So hum. As you continue this silent, easy, Effortless repetition of the mantra, so hum. You may find that your mind drifts away from the mantra to a thought. Perhaps a sensation in the body or a sound in the external environment. Whenever your mind drifts away from the mantra, Simply notice the experience or the thought with curiosity, with easiness. And in that moment that you notice the experience, you have a choice to follow that trail or to think through that line of thought or to come back to the mantra. And I invite you to easily choose to continue silently repeating the mantra, so hum. So as many times as your mind drifts away from the mantra, you simply notice the thought or the experience and you bring it back to the source of the meditation, your mantra. And it just becomes this very gentle back and forth from mantra to thought and back to the mantra for the duration of the meditation. As you continue this effortless back and forth, you may find it becomes almost as if you are listening to the mantra. Just as you hear your thoughts, you can hear the mantra repeating itself. So hum. Please continue the silent repetition of the mantra. I'll let you know when it's time to stop thinking the mantra and I'll guide you out of the meditation. Enjoy.
Please stop thinking the mantra. Continue to sit comfortably with your eyes closed for just a moment. Resting in awareness. In this beautiful space of silence that you've cultivated, I invite you to set an intention for yourself. Easily release that intention and detach from any outcome, allowing the infinite organizing power of the universe to handle the details for you, knowing that your intention and heart's desires have been made known, that seed has been planted, and it is done. It is done. It is done. Beginning to deepen the breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale, releasing anything that has stopped you in the past from your desires coming into your physical reality. And as you begin to easily open your eyes, bringing your awareness back into the room, you may shift your awareness to the body and notice any changes in the body from when you started this meditation. Or perhaps noticing any qualities of the mind that may be different from when you started. And if you haven't already, please open your eyes, bringing your awareness back into the room, back into this place and time. Thank you for the joy of meditating together. I invite you to take this silence into your day for as long as possible, this awareness, this present moment awareness. Thanks so much, and I'll see you for the next meditation.